Hello everyone, my name is Azatro, how are you, and welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 news update video of mine, and in this video, I have the July community calendar to talk about, we have all the details on the upcoming community challenges that feature animated victory poses and new voice lines. Also, there is a new hotfix on the way, so I've got a little bit of details about that. And I also want to address the issue of laziness from the developers because I am actually very disappointed in this community about this community calendar. So let's just get straight into it. So the community calendar states that every week in July there will be a double XP Wednesday. So every single Wednesday, so st today being Wednesday and next Wednesday and the Wednesday after will be double XP. This is for every single platform, every single mode, so matter if you're playing Strike, Heroes vs Villains, Galactic Assault or Capital Supremacy, whatever the mode, it's double XP. So moving on to community challenges, the first hero we will unlock stuff for is Darth Maul, kicking off on July 11th through to July 20th. And it states that the quest is Fuel Your Rage, Eliminate Enemies with Darth Maul. So there will be an amount of enemies, I don't know, something like maybe 2 or 3 million, something like that, I don't know. Enemies you have to kill with Darth Maul, and we will get the Darth Maul Victory Pose Vigilant, which we've already seen. It's already in the game files, it's just not unlocked yet. And there is also another one, so if, so if we choke enough enemies with the choke hold ability, we'll get a new voice line, which is Kenobi. So that's going to be really awesome to get. So both of those are separate challenges, so we may complete one, we may complete both, we may complete none of them. And then starting on July 18th through to July 27th, the Obi-Wan Kenobi challenges begin. So there is the For the Republic one, where we have to eliminate enemies as Obi-Wan Kenobi, and we'll get the victory pose, body and mind. And the voiceover challenge is Old Enemy, and you have to use Obi-Wan's all-out push ability against enemies, and we'll get the voice line Maul. So that's going to be pretty cool. And then for July 25th through to August 4th, we'll have the General Grievous community challenges. The community quests involve crush and destroy, eliminate enemies as General Grievous, and you will get the victory pose Grievous Duelist. And then the voice line is enough of this. Hit enemies with the Grievous Claw Rush ability, and this will give you the voice line, hello there, so you can finally mock Obi-Wan. And the last community quests are for August 1st through to August 11th, and this is the Yoda one, Yaddo, and the community quests involve, together we fight, use Yoda's presence ability on allies, and you unlock the voice line, trust you not, and then the other community challenge is Achieve Serenity, Eliminate Enemies with Yoda, and you'll get the Victory Pose Serenity, which I think is the best out of all of the four Victory Poses. Now, I just want to mention that some of the pictures in the community calendar, so like the Serenity one, the Claw Rush one, and the one on the right for Obi-Wan, those pictures were actually taken by me, so it's big honour for me to be featured in the community calendar, which was really awesome. I am pretty excited about that. I know it's a really minor thing, but I just took those pictures for fun, and EA Star Wars actually used them in the community calendar. But you're probably wondering, what's going on? How many millions, how many hundreds of thousands of kills do we have to get this, that, and the other? Well, it specifically states at the bottom of the blog post that we'll be sharing more details about the individual events in the coming days. This is where the fun begins. And Jay did say on Reddit, the objectives like past community events will be completed as a community. We'll share specific numbers needed to reach each event since putting them in the community calendar would be very messy and that's totally understandable. I think we'll probably just get it on a weekly basis. We probably won't get them all at once, but hopefully they don't take too quick to actually unlock because I feel like it kind of defeats the objective it lasting like an over a week sort of thing. I just hope there's something decent for the community that we can achieve all together. And I guess Capital Supremacy and Heroes vs. Villains are going to be like the best ways to complete these community challenges. Another question you're probably wondering is what happens if I can't log in to the game? What if I can't take part of these challenges? Well, I'm guessing it's going to be like the Princess Leia skin where... You don't have to participate in the challenge, you just have to log in within that week. So boot up your Xbox, PlayStation or PC, open the game, connect to the internet, switch it off, you will get that reward. Now, I am actually going to be on holiday for the Grievous thing, so I'm not going to be home for the Grievous uh, victory pose and whatnot. So I'm going to have to get River Thames to 
sign in with my origin account and get that because i don't want to miss out on the hello there voice line that's for sure but yes i i guess if you can't physically log in there is likely going to be the chance you won't be able to unlock these again for the foreseeable future maybe they'll be made available for crystals and credits later down the line but i'm sure we'll get clarification in the coming days and i just want to address something that has really made me feel bad for the developers because people are moaning there is no update in july there's no new content other than these victory poses and voice lines now i understand skins would have been so much better and i would take skins any day over these basic victory poses and voice lines but hear me out july is vacation month for most of sweden most of everywhere right it's the summer holidays these developers have worked tirelessly over the past year since last july to bring out so much content and this that and the other and you can't give them two to three weeks of having some time off like not everyone's off at the same time but a lot of people will be taking time off in july not enough to get an update out not to mention people that work at sony microsoft who test updates will be on holiday as well so that means updates may be delayed because they won't be tested in time, stuff like that. There's more chances of risks going wrong with bugs and stuff like What if there was a game-breaking bug, but there wasn't enough people to fix it? Not just at DICE and EA, but at the other studios, things like that. And people calling them lazy are so wrong and don't understand how the world works. Because imagine you work for an entire year with basically out with, without having an entire day off, pretty much, other than at the weekends. And then you get called lazy because a content update doesn't drop in July. They're literally giving us content. It's not a lot, but you can't call them lazy. They literally said back in June, at the start of June at EA Play, there would not be a content update this month. And everyone seems to have forgotten that. I don't understand it. Like they literally told us an entire month, more than a month ago, that there would not be a content update. And yet people still didn't understand and didn't care enough look in august we're going to be getting a content update we will have eight details on the pv mode hopefully felucia before then we don't know anything else about what's coming next month but yes we need skins but come on come on don't call them lazy because they've been working very extremely hard on this game and last but not least that isn't to say there is not an update coming out this month. There actually is. There's going to be a hotfix. So, so tomorrow, Wednesday, July 11th, there will be an update coming out that includes new milestones for the Droidica and TX-130. So just by playing as them, you'll, you may complete challenges and get some credits for that. DICE will also be introducing an option to purchase the 212th Recon Division, 41st Scout Battalion, Fiber First Phase 1 and Coruscant Guard Phase 1 with crystals. These bundles will have a 50% reduction rate over the individual appearance cost, meaning the 212th are available for 1,000 crystals and the 41st for 2,000 crystals and the 501st and Coruscant Guard will be available for 300 crystals, which is really reasonable. The blog post also states in August they'll be back to business as usual and not only will they be talking about what's coming in the August update but what will be coming to Battlefront 2 for the rest of 2019 which sounds very optimistic. But that's not all included for tomorrow's update. There's a bunch of bug fixes and changes so they fixed an issue where the round on Starfighter Assault and Hero Showdown could begin and end without a player number criteria being met. And for Heroes vs. Villains, they fixed a bunch of things for Vader. There's a new visual tech animation improvements for the chest plate of the General Kenobi appearance, which is pretty cool. They've also done some community requests, such as changed Finn's covert leader star card to take effect whenever Vi Finn defeats an enemy. And Obi-Wan is now immune to enemy force abilities when performing all-out force push. They've also fixed a bunch of things relating to reinforcements and vehicles. But overall, this sounds like a really nice hot fix. I'm glad they've managed to put this out fairly quickly. And hopefully it doesn't introduce too many bugs or anything game-breaking before the August updates. And that will conclude this video. Be sure to let me know down in the comment section below your thoughts on everything I've discussed in this video. Be sure to drop a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are new around here. Check out any of the two previous videos on screen if you did miss them. And I shall see you all in my next Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. Goodbye.